joke. You got destroyed? <laughs> a lot of people didn't think it was a joke. Oh, you <laughs> A lot of people. people I know. On it's, Twitter it's shocking. It's didn't shocking. Didn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> I know, but uh, right now, do you think they're the best team in the NFC? I know the Packers are there, but what do you think? Who wants it? Go for it. You I'm throwing it out there. Mike Rob, you're up. You got. You gonna say Packers? Man, I'm gonna say the Packers all best day. Best team in the NFC? No question. Well, look, I'm going to let you talk about the Packers. I'm going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. Right now, the Philadelphia Eagles, you have to say them right now. Today. No, you don't have to say them. You have to. Why? Look at what they're doing with their quarterback. Look at what they're doing with their wide receivers. They're actually running the football with LeGarrette Blount. They're balanced. I, I was surprised to see Doug Peterson call the run as much as I've seen him call the run over the last few. Well, he, he did say it was hard for him to start calling the run because of how good of a quarterback, young quarterback he has in Carson Wentz. But he did stuck with the, with the run game. He stuck with the run. So they finally got a four-minute type of a guy Le LeGarrette Blunt. And to me, what makes Carson Wentz special, you can tell about his arm, you can talk about his mobility, you can talk about his, you know, his smarts and, and things like that. But when I see this guy, he, he's one of the guys. He's one of the guys in the locker room. He is. Playing quarterback is partly public relations too. Right. Guys gotta want to pay, gotta want to play with you, right? This guy can talk to anybody on the team, offense, defense, the back end or the front or, or the front seven. And he, he he's one of the guys. He's a teammate. He's not like when some teams where your quarterback is considered to be part of the front office. This guy is a football player, and I think that's why this team is so that's successful. Why. I would imagine, too, it resonates with the team when he's running and trying to get the, those he extra yards. And he's getting crushed. That's, he tried to chuck somebody. That's he ain't win, I'm though. going with Aaron Rodgers because he's one of the guys. He's one you of sure the about that? He's, you sure about that? Ask Greg Jennings. You sure about that? He's one of the guys. You sure about that? I know. Ask Greg Jennings. I'm just saying. Ooh. He's one of those more experienced, the guys kind of guy. Does that make sense? Yes. I think that's been worth it. But anyway, Aaron Rodgers, ball placement out this world. Right. Ball coming out looking pretty. Not pretty, but pretty. Hurt. Hurt. Ball coming out looking pretty. A guy who has a lot of confidence at quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. But not only Aaron Rodgers, we do have a tight end. Not only do we have a tight end, we got a few receivers. Not only do we have an upcoming consistent receiver in Devontae Adams, let's not forget about Jordy. Let's not forget about Cobbs. Let's not forget about a hurt Tom Montgomery. What about the but, run game? But, uh, uh, what that's what I'm getting to. Okay, okay. Man, let me get to uh. Aaron Jones. So, and Aaron Rodgers has been talking about Aaron something. Jones for the longest. Aaron. I got something about for that For the longest. I got something about that later. <laughs> yeah, and look, talk about Aaron Jones. So, when you have all of that, when you have all of those weapons, let alone a superstar quarterback, let alone experienced quarterback, let alone a Super Bowl quarterback, of course they beat us in the Super Bowl. What about but the defense That's the what I'm defense. saying. What about the, the run defense? defense. The, the, the 22nd defense. and rush defense. Yes. That's cool. Something got to get 22nd and score. Rushing. But their passing defense ain't too bad. <laughs> See, we're going to talk about their run defense, but their passing defense ain't. You saw what he did against Dallas. Give him a minute 13. I don't know if you can give Carson Wentz a minute 13 and he go down the scope. I do know. Okay. I do I'm, know I'm, Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to ask you this. Philly, Green Bay, neutral field right now, who wins that game? Come on. Come on, Ike. Aaron, Come on, Ike. Really? Rogers, you a lie. Wins that game all you day. A lie. All day. You a lie. And one of the big you know reasons is Aaron they, Jones. They, they cannot stop. They can't get the hits off Aaron Rodgers right it, now. It and doesn't this matter how much Philly. time you give. This front seven and five. I do know one thing for sure. Carson Wentz will make a mistake or two. If you give him the ball. And Aaron Rodgers get, won't? No, 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 no. He, he won't. He hasn't. He hasn't. At the end of the game, who do you want? Come on, man. At the end of the game, who do you want? I want, I want Aaron Rodgers. A minute 13. I want Aaron Rodgers. Exactly. The game. But look, wait. Okay. Let me, all I'll say about the Eagles right now, last year, 3-0. and we're, I mean, the, the Steelers game, you remember that. They killed them in all phases of the game. Mike, it better Went be a into point the bye week. That supports me. And they were saying, oh, we don't, don't, don't want the bye that week. Me. Don't we don't want the I bye think. week yeah. right now. We don't want the bye. They're in an ex uh, a mini bye here because they had a Thursday into a Monday game. This is a completely different team. I'm not saying the same thing's going to happen, but Doug Peterson learned from that and make sure these guys don't get this rhythm broken there this year. Yeah, look, they're balanced on offense. They have a defense, <laughs> and they even get extra points for their kicker. This side of the table. This is the first half. I see. It's 